hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel today i'm going to show you how i made this lovely lightweight facial serum which contains bacochol that is termed a natural alternative to retinol and also contain the low molecular hyaluronic acid which is a natural moisturizing factor that helps to enhance skin absorption deep hydration and helps to regenerate the skin so I'm going to start by measuring out my oil face. In this picture already, I have squalene, which is a natural emollient derived from olive. It makes the skin natural oil and contain antioxidant and protect the skin from carcinogen. Now I'm measuring out my camellia seed oil. It is cut from tea tree and it helps to fight acne, contain antioxidant and helps to protect the skin from damage. Now I'm adding my emulsifier. This is an oil water emulsifier, which has a low viscosity and is suitable for serum lotion and fluid cream next i'm going to add 0.5 gram of bakucho which is derived from the babchi plant is a great protein antioxidant as anti-inflammatory and antibacterial properties it is referred to as the natural alternative to retinol as they work through the same receptors it has a range of anti-aging benefit for the skin it can reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles improve skin brightness and sort out uneven skin tone now I've finished measuring out everything in the oil face. I'm just going to put this aside and start measuring my water face. Now I'm measuring out my water face. I'm going to be using 22.5 gram of distilled water and also 20 gram of cornflower water. When using bakuchol in a water-based formula, it is advised to add a chelator. Now I'm going to be adding a natural chelator, which is an alternative to EDTA. It will help to inactivate the metal ions, help to increase the shelf life of my serum, and also improve the stability and effectiveness of it. Now I'm going to add my cornflower hydrosol. Cornflower hydrosol is very good for people with sensitive skin. It helps to suit irritated skin and helps in toning and refreshing the skin. Now I've got my two face ready, I'm just going to put them in the hot water bath and just wait for the oil face to melt and check the temperature to be sure they are both at the same temperature before I mix them together. These are my two beaker out of the hot water bath, now I'm pouring them together and I'm just going to mix till they thicken up a bit and I'm going to put them in a cold water bath for them to cool down quickly and then add the remaining ingredients. While I'm mixing and while this is still a bit warm, I'm going to add Xanthar gum. Xanthar gum can be a bit tricky to work with, so I'm just going to add it now and try to mix it together so that it can blend in with my serum. Now that my serum has taken up a bit, I'm removing it from the cold water bath and I'm going to be adding hyaluronic acid, which is a natural moisturizer. I'm using the very low molecular weight one. As this can penetrate deep into the skin, it provides deep and long-lasting hydration, helps to promote skin regeneration and skin repair, and also to strengthen the skin natural protective barrier. I'm just mixing to blend in the hyaluronic acid before adding the next ingredient. Now I'm adding my green tea extract powder which is packed with great antioxidant and it contains EGCG which is a chemical that provides significant benefit to the skin. It helps to improve the skin hydration, it protects the skin from the aging effect of free radicals, it inhibits the production of excess melanin which in a way has a positive effect on hyperpigmentation. I'm going to continue mixing to blend in the green tea extract after which I'm going to add my preservative. Now I'm going to add my preservative. While this is of synthetic origin, it is one of the few preservatives that has been approved for organic and natural cosmetic. Now I'm just going to mix everything together to blend all the ingredients in and after which I'm going to put it in a bottle and wait till the end to see how it looks on the skin. This serum feels so light on the skin. It drops easily into the skin and it does not leave any greasy or oily feeling. The color is kind of off-white and this is due to the green tea extract added onto it. Maybe the next one I'm going to try, it's going to be without it.
watching my video if this is something that is of interest to you and you want to learn more please like and subscribe to my channel and please click on the notification button to receive the notification when i upload my next video thank you